I know everyone's been following the news, and I tell you, it's been some exciting stuff. And I want to make some predictions on what I think we're going to come out with Cohen and something that Hannity, Hannity said and um, what's going to come out. And also, I want to make a prediction on this whole um, – um, where did where did Cohen go? He went to um, Prague, right? So these are my two predictions. Number one, what's going to come out is this: is that basically um, Cohen has been the intermediary between the president and Hannity, and what's going to come out is there's going to be tapes and emails that specifically is giving. Um, Hannity guidance on his show. So it's going to be like he's the talking puppet of the administration. And I think that either there's going to be tapes or there's going to be documentation that's going to show that link and it's Hannity's going to be out and it's going to be, it's going to really blow up in Fox's face. That's number one. Number two is I think the whole reason why, and no one's said this yet, I'm the first one to say that the whole reason why um, Cohen went to Prague was what? Is for him to be shown the P-tape. So he went to Prague because he's the only one guy, he's the fixer, he's the only one that the Russians would probably show the P-tape to since you know he's that close to the president as the president's, quote, attorney. And uh, that would be worth going to Prague for. To know the simple fact that the Russians have this P-tape on Trump. And not only that, the simple fact, for example, like the Trump just said, oh, we're not going to do the sanctions on the companies, on the businesses. So the stock market in, in uh, Russia had completely collapsed. And now he's kind of flipping it. So the stock market's going up. So these individuals, the, you know, are going to make everyone who shorted the market and now we're going to actually, you know, and, and probably uh, put a hedge on the market, are going to make, you know, tens of millions of dollars. I'm really starting to think that there's probably AI running this entire fiasco. Um, I am pretty sure that, and this is, sounds so, con, uh, um, what's the word, conspiratorial, that, uh, you know, Trump is running kind of like the same kind of bots that run the music industry. Okay, you're going to do this now. You're going to go slap your girlfriend. You need to, you know, and the, all this stuff, these bots are basically telling artists what to do, um, is telling our president what to do. The only thing that is not, that's out of his control is the whole Mueller investigation. So kind of putting this in perspective, um, like the whole China thing, like, oh, we're going to put tariffs on you and everything else, and it drops the market, and then the bot says, okay, bye, right? Um, and then, he, you know, he's talking to the Chinese, and he's saying, hey, this is how we're going to make this work, okay? I'm going to come after you hard. You're going to come after me hard, and then we're going to come up with an agreement, right? We're going to play this game. It's just a game, and we're going to play the media and everything else, and uh, we'll end up looking good together, and this is, I believe, at this point, what is going on um, inside these, you know, this completely corrupt administration that we have. Um, but I wanted to say that in regards to Cohen. Number one is what's going to come out is um, Cohen was the intermediary between the Trump administration and Fox and his show. And number two, Cohen went to Prague to what? To witness the P-tape.